You are very welcome to Richmond Park for tonight's SSE Artricity League Premier Division clash between St. Patrick's Athletic and Shamrock Rovers. Let's take a check on the teams, beginning with the home side St. Patrick's Athletic and manager Tim Clancy has made three changes for the side that lost last time out against Bohemians on Monday. Adam O'Reilly comes in for his first start in midfield on loan from Preston North End, while Billy King and Dara Burns also return. Shamrock Rovers have made two changes as well, but Sean Gannon and Aaron Green uh, missing out. Ronan Finn and Rory Gaffney come back into the team. We expect Stephen Bradley to play with a 3-5-2 formation. We expect to have them picking her up, then Jack Bourne or, or Danny Mandreo, who's going to get on the half turns and all of a sudden slip balls in behind. Nice one-touch play there by Rovers and eventually they found their captain Ronan Finn racing down the right-hand side at wing-back. This would be a brilliant goal if they scored. Finn is in. Great save by Joseph Annan, but what a move by Shamrock Rovers. Seven or eight one-touch passes around the halfway line. They play that ball for Finn, Jer, and that's the biggest chance of the evening so far. It's simple, Jay. That's, that's the problem. I'd say Tim Clancy's absolutely going ballistic, to be honest with you. It's so simple at the moment. It's again... Ante Breslin done well to get back and put him a little bit under pressure. It's a good save for Joseph Annan with his feet. It, it's a difficult one for the young players and who have aspirations to go away. He's obviously another 21 international and he's probably looking at boys in that camp ground. Well, but then again, our Shamrock Rovers got a better setup than some of them. For now, they've got Jack Byrne playing a pass in towards Mandrew and it's Danny Mandrew! And it's actually wide in the near post. A lot of Shamrock Rovers fans behind the goal who can't actually see the goal line. Thought it had hit the net, but it actually hit the uh, advertising horns and bounced back out. But again, it's oh, fantastic movement, Jamie. Jim McGraw is getting ready to face Bowles next week before a home game against Sundalk and an away match to Sligo. But here comes the corner and it's Burns to whip it in and it's a great oh, ball oh in. It's in. And it's 1-0 St. Pat's and it's the captain Chris Forrester who wouldn't necessarily be known for his heading in the box chair who's given the Saints the lead here. A brilliant ball in by Dara Burns and Forrester rose highest in the six-yard box to head it into the top corner and nine minutes into the second half here at Richmond Park in the Dublin Derby. It's the Saints who lead 1-0. And Chris, Chris's energy in the second half and his play has been absolutely fantastic. He's both now taking the stride. Oh, he's pirouetting here. Mm, no advantage, no foul given, should I say. And it's, oh, oh, good save in the end by Joseph Anang. It was Andy Lyons, of all people, I think, with the shot. And Anang, the goalkeeper's job is to save it, Jeremy. He's kept it out, but it's gone for a corner. Anyway, yellow card for Dara Burns and the short corner, which you can see Shamrock Rovers wanted to work. And it's all the way to the edge of the box to Finn, who can strike one, Ronan Finn! Oh, I thought that was closer from our view, Jared. It's gone quite a bit wide, but a good corner by Rovers, and it'll give them a little bit of a. Uh, here's this Andy Line shot, Jared. Oh, no, Doyle, it runs back 40 yards, stops the attack. <laughs> oh. Consistency, hey? Oh, my God. But it's Lines cross. Oh, he's got ahead of him. Oh, oh just over God. the crossbar, it's Rory Gaffney, what a cross by Andy Lyons who on his weaker left foot has been really good tonight, the ball's wing back and Gaffney just got across his marker there, I'm not sure who it was, you might talk us through this but that's a brilliant ball as well by yeah, Byrne, a great it, cross by Lyons. Yeah, it's really good ball by Andy Lyons on his so-called weaker foot, it's a great ball in. You just see the experience of Doyle and the, the level that he's played at everything he does, the thought process behind it apart from the skill is really, really interesting to see. Good ball. Here he comes again. He just rolls around the corner to Forrester, who'll smash it with his right foot. And that ball, what's, what's the move? Oh. It's not, it's Alan Manis, who the keeper's done actually so well. Because these new footballs, I sound like an old person here, <laughs> they move so much. And Manis, we'll see the replay here, Jer, doesn't really see it because it's, it's straight at him, but it moves. And he eventually grabs it, like we said, like Anning a minute ago. He keeps it out. Yeah. And here we're into the final two minutes. Shamrock Rovers push for an equaliser. That will be a foul by Mark Doyle. Oh. Yeah, just our clock, our, our infographic just stopped for a, a minute or two there. Maybe so we'll see. This is Tim Pat's uh, captain, Chris Forrest. And Houston shot there is asking for the, the final whistle to be blown. It's not going to be blown just yet, but can't be far off. And the first header. And that is the final whistle. What a win for St. Patrick's Athletic. A big, big three points for Tim Clancy's team. Captain Fantastic, Chris Forrester with the winner from a corner in the second half. Dara Burns whipped it in. And Forrester was there to head it in. And the Saints have beaten the hoops by one goal to nil. Um, listen, obviously delighted to get the, the three points, but um, more so in the manner which we did. Uh, it was a really gritty performance. And um, we probably didn't show that against Bowes on Monday and Sligo here last Friday. Um, so to grind out the result in the way we did in 
to defend the pressure and the, the, the box the way we did um, late in the game was probably the most pleasing thing. 